Hey friends and welcome to the replay. Hi friends! Well, I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight. Here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hi, you guys. How are you? Hello, hello. How did we like that little video in the beginning? Was that cool? Was that okay? Like, and when I say cool, I mean, was it all right? Was it good? I'm trying to do a better job of keeping myself on track and getting all the important things out um, before we start the project. So you guys let me know what you think. Hopefully, um, it was what, what, what it, it, it's better. Hopefully it's better. That's all I can say. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Nance. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Sheila. Hey, Kim Jensen. Hey, Dee Dee. Hi, Londa. Hi, Eva. Hi, Kim Betts. Hi, Diana. Hey, Melissa Garcia. Hi, Deb Green. Hi, Amy. Hi, Eva. Hi, Nelly. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Terry and Donna. Hey, Donna Tesco. How are you? Hey, Euphrasia. Hey, Kim Jensen. How are you guys? Hi, Lisa Sheets. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Sheila Somerville. Michelle Scott. Hi, Steph. Hi, Nikki Morris. Hey, Melissa Garcia. Hey, Linda Gale. Hi, Shelly. Did I say hi to everybody? Hi, Mr. Vernon. It looked good. Okay, good. That way it's nice and quick. And now we could just jump into the project, right? I'll still talk about like, you know, different things. Um, you know, like 
Club Couture and our new designer kit. But um, I want to make sure that I also, whoops, I also um, discuss like some other, like, uh, uh, like I'm able to talk to you guys about things, right? So today, as you read, we're going to be doing, I'm like on my ink kick right now. And I want to get one other shirt done. And I had told you guys I was going to do it. And I wasn't kidding. I am doing it. Um, because we have myself, Sarah Page Gruber, Mandy, and Ken Hess, and Shawnee, and uh, Amanda. We all have our Friday night flip cup <laughs> through Zoom. And I wanted to have a shirt made that says, drinks well with others. And we have it on the soda fountain transfer now. So I think it's going to be super cool. So um, that's the shirt we're going to make today. So I, wanna, I want you guys to tell me down below. Happy hump day, guys. Um, hi, Tina. Hi, Darlene and Kristen Dang. Um, can you guys... Hi, Star. How are you? Um, loving the new intro. Awesome, you guys. Hi, Eileen Marie Creates and Chris Kent and Karen Earl are over on YouTube. Will you guys tell me, what colors do you think I should do? This is one of those, um, I think they call them baseball shirts. It has like the different color sleeves. So it's got black sleeves, um, and it's white on the inside. I want to know what colors you guys think I should do it. Um, I'm kind of open to anything as long as it's not ridiculous, <laughs> which I don't think you guys would do. But um, yeah, tell me what colors you think we should do this um, because I am ready to make my final shirt of this uh, launch. I'm so ready to make this and it's going to be so cute. Okay, we got to pull this up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. I just stuck the 11 by 17 ink mat. Nope, it's not 11 by 17. I keep doing that, you guys. It's like 11 by 23, I think. Um, shimmer red. No, we don't have that in ink. It's got to be colors that are current. The drink so with others is why I bought the transfer. Yes, Emery, me too. Hi, Heather Susan. Hi, Pam Dallas. Hi, Felicia. Okay, so I see red. I see, I see Karen uh, Earl on YouTube is saying red. I see Michelle is saying teal. What's your favorite mixed drink? Ooh, my favorite mixed drink would have to be Malibu and pineapple. Uh, Malibu coconut run and rum and pineapple juice or a iceberg, which is, and you guys are going to say it's disgusting, but I'm telling you when you were on the beach or on a boat and it's hot, a iceberg, it is half Corona beer and then half frozen margarita. It's so good, you guys. Oh, my God. I, like, I think around here they call them Corona Ritas, but I learned it as an iceberg. All right, I see teal, something bold, teal and yellow, pop, yellow, grape soda. Oh, Kristen Dang, grape soda is not an in ink, and it's not current. So it's got to be something current. The teal, you, I love the teal. Teal was definitely going to be something. Hi, Christy Sneed. Bumblebee in red. Okay, Bumblebee in red. Um, regal. Okay. A purple. All right. So let's, let's get this cut out and let's figure it out. You guys keep the color suggestions coming. I'm going to decide whatever we have probably the most of. Um, you guys keep letting me know. I think my day has been so good so far. So good, Pam. Um, I'm super pumped that I'm glad that I was forced to do the update through switcher Nikki Morris. Uh, know that I flip and love the update. Um, I had to update my iPad, my um, space eight or my dinosaur age iPad that is like seven years old, and I love it now. So, super good. Please, please, please know that. Hi, babes. Hey, hey, that will be the hubbies. All right, so we're gonna just do. I'm trying to see what else comes with this. I really kind of want to put whatever sprinkles your cookies on the back, but I won't. I'll save that for another shirt. Um, no, stay on, stay on. Oops. What is happening here? I don't know why that won't go up, but that's okay. I just have that going. Drinks well with others. Okay. So we've got it cut out. Let's get it labeled. Love that drink. It's so good. Yes, Tina. Is that the transfer for me? 
What, drinks well with others? Yeah, it is. I'm making a shirt. You want me to make you one? Give me a t-shirt. It is tailor made for you, babies. And then we should put the um, the hashtag dad bod icon that looks just like you with sunglasses on and a beard. They must know that I drink well with others. You do. Okay, so we got our got it labeled. Use a little mini with the pineapple. Isn't there one? Yes. Teal and bumblebee coconut rum with diet cranberry pineapple juice. Yes, Rhonda. They call that a, um, oh gosh, I can't think what that's called. I used to bartend, believe it or not, you guys. And I can't remember the name of that. And pineapple is my favorite drink also. Yeah, Amory. Hi, Allie. Allie, your son's little journal entry yesterday was the cutest thing ever. Loved it. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Patty Polly from Michigan. Hi, Dina. Hey, Margaret Miller. Margaret Miller says shimmer gold. Red will totally stand out. I think we should do some candy apple. I am totally on board with that. Let's think of what, what does like an, like the old soda fountain. Oh my gosh. Do I not have candy apple ink? What? Oh, yes, I do. I still have the little BB one. Red ink is obviously not something I do often. I don't think the teal will look good with the red, but maybe red with red and yellow. Look, red, yellow, and black. Well, I look like a bumblebee. A, a bumblebee who's hurt. <laughs> Patty Polly, I was talking of a Corona Rita. <laughs> shimmer gold. Okay. We could do shimmer gold. How about we do, should we do candy apple and shimmer gold? That's going to, I feel like that's going to look like Christmas. But I could be wrong. Candy apple, shimmer gold, and black and white. Mm. I feel like maybe, how about shimmer gold and black? How about shimmer gold and black velvet? What do we think about that? I think those colors could be a winner. Oh, yeah, look at that. That could be awesome. What do we think? Shimmer gold. Oh, yeah, Dana. Uh, we're on the same wavelength, girlfriend. Dana Maltmaker, I like that. A shot of Patron and Pineapple Chaser. Heck, yes. Could totally do that. Most were red and black. You are correct. The soda fountains were red and black. So why don't we stick them with red and black? And we could do drinks well. Maybe in the red and with others in the black. Let's put it down and let's see. Oh, this is going to be so cute. And I can't wait to wear it on Friday night. I can't wait. If you're a Lemonade fan, Pinky Wink Whitney. Pink Whitney. Oh, Eileen Marie Creates. I might have to try that. I like Lemonade. I love um, Arnold Palmer's as well. Laura Patterson says, yes, gold and black. Okay, so. Drinks well in gold and others in black. Okay. I like it. Let's do it. So let's do gold and black. And yeah, I agree. The drinks well should stand out in the shimmer gold. That will be awesome. Make sure I'm centered. That looks to be pretty centered. That looks like it's going up on an angle, though. Yes. All right. So shimmer gold and black velvet. We've decided. It has been spoken. All right. So getting my hair out of the way. When it comes to using ink, I always, 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 always ink the same way. Top to bottom or bottom to top, never side to side. Reason being is if I have a bleed or a, uh, not a bleed, a bump in my silk screen, a bump, I'm going to have a bleed and I don't want to have a bleed with ink. Not a fun time, you guys. Not a fun time. Okay, so I'm just pulling and using my squeegee to make sure that all of the areas are down. Oh, I think that's going to be good. All right, let me get, I'm trying to, I have my desk, my laptop up pretty high and it's a little hard to do things. Hi, Kim Widener. Let's see. Hey, Tracy Walls. Annabelle 
think. I love that transfer. I bought it for that segment. Yes, I love it. Okay, you ready, guys? Let's do this. Now, I am being awfully foolish by doing this ink on top of the shirt. Who is not in my craft room to help me know right from wrong here? Considering I am super messy. What are we thinking? Okay, so let's do our shimmer gold first. Wait, am I using? Yeah, okay, good. I doubt it for a second. I'm like, wait a second. Is this copper? All right, so I'm going to do this part in the shimmer gold. Oh, it's already super shiny. And I also like to start above the screen. So that way, if it's all like goopy, is that even a word? Goopy? It'll be on above the screen and not on the trans uh in the silk screen it'll be in, in the the item that you're using to ink i had no choice but to go sideways right there something i don't prefer to do there we go okay now with ink you can afford to take your time a little bit okay you can afford to take a little bit of time. There we go. All right, so we've got that part done. Now let's move on to the black velvet. And I've already got ink on my hands. I'm going to tell you what we are going to do with do about that as soon as I'm done inking the black part. Okay. And I am using a super little a bit, little bit. So, see this napkin I put right here? We are going to use it to make sure that we have all the ink off our fingers, off our fingertips. We don't want to have any ink showing. Now, we're going to take our time. This is a new transfer, Carol Hefner. It's from the soda fountain transfer. I just took the drinks well with others part off. All right, I'm going to take my time pulling back because if I feel like I need to add some more ink somewhere... I'm going to push it right back down and redo it. Like, see right there? I feel like that could have been a little darker. Yeah, there we go. Looks awesome. Look at that! That looks so good! All right, so... Let's go ahead. Hey, babe, husband. Thanks, babe. Um, can you come take this transfer for me and wash it, please? I mean, it would be good because there's ink in it. Oh, careful. Like that. Give it to daddy. Thank you. Okay, let's get our... Here, Bubba, you can take these back there for me. Okay. Thank you. Watch, there's ink. Don't let it drop. All right, let's close up the ink. Get it closed up. Now, we could totally add more to this, okay? We could add the little, um, from Live Life with Zest. There's like, um, the orange and the lime piece and a few. You stop it. Keep on going. Um... We could totally add to that. I am not going to be able to dig to that quick enough, though. I'm going to be honest with you. But you could totally do it. Oh, and we have the new, hold on. When life gives you lemons, we could totally put our little lemon wedge right over here. Make it be an orange slice, a lemon slice, a lime slice. You totally could do it. Plus, we've got the cherries from the soda fountain. Okay, so we could, here, let's cut it out and let's see what it would look like. Let's cut some of these out. Okay. Okay. We 
could absolutely do the little cherries off to the one side. We could do the lemon, lime, orange slice. No, Laura, we used to have a cocktail glass. I think it was in the builder drink. I think. We do have, we had a mason jar for the fun mason jar drinks, but that was in Happiness is Homemade, I think it was called. Um, those are retired, though. I don't like to use things that are retired because I like to show people in case they say, oh, my gosh, I need that. Like, how fun would that be if we put that on there? Should I even put, like, the little, like, squirty? <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to do that. Like, the little squirt. That's cute. Um, Beachy has a mini pineapple on it. Oh, yeah. Is there a tropical drink glass? Yeah. Hi, Karen McDonald. Put cherries in upper left. So cute. Yep, we could totally do it just like that. And I could maybe do this as like a lemon and a lime or two limes or whatever. How cute would that be? Do you guys agree? Where is my camera? There it goes. Um, what do you guys think? Hi, Becky Solins. Lime wedge. Okay. He is a great helper, right, Patty? It does look so good. Let's see. Cherries above the D in drinks. So like that. You know what I want to do? I want to dry this first because I can see myself. Oh boy, it would not be good. I could see myself putting my hands in this while it's still wet. And yes, my ink mat is still underneath. I'll just, you know, try and hold the heat away from it. What did I do with the cherries now? Oh, I see them. That's still wet. Yikes, that's definitely still wet. Okay. The squirties, right? That's what I was like, hmm, maybe I should do them. What? Sorry. I feel like that's nice and dry now. Okay. Okay. So... I can make the cherries kind of be hanging on. Oh, I don't know how I feel about it. Hold on. Cherries. And the wedge. You want to make it its own trance, Robbie? You're so cute. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. I kind of feel like I should do the little lemon just like this. And we could do the lemon because I do have the yellow out and the red. Hi, Heidi Bostic. Ink take a while to dry on fabric. Only you can help it along, Patty, by using like your heat your heat tool, your hair dryer. Okay. All right, now let's figure out these cherries. Hello? Oh, I think it was Kyle. I don't know how I feel about these cherries here. 
kind of feel like I want them to be down here. I don't know that I like them up here. What do we think about it right there? Hi, Lourdes. Maybe the berries in the middle and the wedges on the other side. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, have, like, the cherries. I don't know. I kind of don't like them sitting, like, being up here. I think it kind of looks odd. I don't know. Kind of dig the cherries off to the side. What do you guys think? We not like the cherries off to the side? Mixed drinks transfer could also work. Still current. Oh, yeah. I have I have drinks about mixed feelings or something. I remember that. Yeah. Stem coming out of the banner by the W. Wait, what? Hmm. Hmm. Right, you freeze. <laughs> the pineapple would also be cute. Yes. Above the D, but tilted with the stem pointing left. Oh, like that. Wait, with the stem pointing. The stem pointing left. Like that? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Mikey. Hmm. I, I kind of am like really liking it over here because I'm thinking, I feel like here's my logic. And this is why I'm thinking this because I'm super self-conscious about my super round face. And I feel like those are going to point right up to this double chin. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to do? I am going to do it down here. I'm going to have it like it's coming off around this way with trying to see how close I am. I think I'm going to put them like that with the little lime, like a little lemon right here. That's what I think I'm going to do. I hope you guys are okay with it. Can you just use the squirties like on both sides of the transfer? I probably could. I probably could. I'm getting some of my other transfers today. I'm going to do the Country Girl one on a t-shirt, but I didn't buy an ink mat. Like, like <laughs> um, you know what, Laura? Um, you could use, um, uh, use a piece of, um, parchment paper. Um, you just, the, the ink mat, or if you have, I don't know if you've got a cutting machine, if you have those mats, you could easily... Oh, stop. Stop machine. You could easily use that as well. Use one of those mats. Um, you just, it's just used, it's to help stabilize the shirt, but it's also to help the bleeding because it will bleed through the shirt. Right? Exactly. That's, that was my logic. I wasn't going to say it out loud, but I'm like, you know what? I'm with friends and I'm just going to tell them what I'm thinking. So there's that. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to think you weren't giving good ideas. You were. It's just, I'm super insecure, so there, I can't help it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some red cherries with our candy apple ink and some brown stems with our bark ink. I still, would you guys believe I still have red ink that is, that is, um, a two ounce container. Is that not nuts? Okay. I don't even know that I've opened the bark yet. Oh, I have. Yay. I don't know what the heck I would have used it on, but yay, I have. That's fun. All right. We're going to use, oh my gosh, should I just do what I think I did? Goofball. 
All right, so we're gonna do some bark on the stems. Okay. Gotta reach a squeegee. Okay. Okay, so we've got our candy apple and our bark done. Now let's do a little lemon wedge with our bumblebee. My gosh. Oh, can't reach my squeegees. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. I got to be careful there. Okay. We got to get these lids on really quickly because I'm starting to have a little pan. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that just in case I needed to do some touch ups. Okay. Any ink on the fingers? It looks good to go. Whoops. See, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I stopped. Hold on. See a little spot. So cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, the cherries are adorable. Oh my gosh. Hey, babe, can I give you two more transfers to rinse off? Yeah. They're small. They're little small guys. There's one. <laughs> what do you think of the shirt? You want me to make you one? There you go. You don't have to have cherries and fruit on all on it. Don't worry. And then here you go. Thank you, sir. Thanks, babes. Okay, hold on, you guys. Let's get the lids on these things, and then we'll dry it. What do you guys think? Do you guys love it? Hi, Mona. I think it's so cute. I am pretty sure I love it. All right. I'm going to either end up wearing oh, the candy apple or spilling it. One or the other. Just get the lid on. Get the lid on. There it goes. Now I feel much better. <laughs> I needed, I very much needed to get that closed up. Okay. So now let's get these dried. So that way we can heat set it and we have a permanent shirt. Yay. Okay. Did I get all the ink off? I did. Come on. <gasps> Shoot. I got something on the shirt. I think I got the brown on it. And I didn't mean to. It's okay though. Okay. Let's get these dried. You guys, the lemon is super cute. Hey Vicky. Hi Terry Gaskin. Hi Catherine Mahal. You want one, Dana? <laughs> Yes, right, Mary Beth?
Oh, I love it, you guys. It turned out so cute. Oy. That is definitely dry. Okay, my candy apple is not dry yet. See I still have it on my hand? How to make pink lemonade just came up on my Alexa. No, Alexa. Oi! Have you been stirring my pot? Babe? Colin has. She's been setting the timer. Oh, okay. All righty. So now that we are all dry. Yep, see, we're dry. Now it's time to heat set. All right, so I'm going to grab my parchment paper. And I'm going to cover my design. Now, you will either use a iron on a cotton setting for four minutes on both sides or a heat press. Why is it not going up? Well, it was on 330 and then it just went down, so it's fine. But you want to do it on 330 for 30 seconds on both sides. So the inside and the front where the ink is. I'm going to show you what you're going to do for the inside. And then you guys, once we heat set it, it's permanent. So that means we can wash it and keep wearing it over and over. Thanks, Kim Widener. Thanks, Nance. So Patty Polly, no, you don't have to. You can dry, um, you can take the ink mat out before. You just got to be careful because you don't want the, the ink to touch itself, which I think I did a, a pretty okay job with. Ooh, that sounds good. Thanks, Nikki. I'm listening. Yes, yes, she is, Darlene. Always. A-L-E-X-A -E always does. So that's usually why I spell it. Okay, so I've got it turned inside out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my parchment paper on the inside of my shirt. So that way when I heat set it, it doesn't stick to the back. Okay. So I just fold it up to stick it in and then I unfold it once I've got it in. Okay, we're good to go. Time to finish heat setting. Hi, Linda Carroll. So you guys, that was the it for this, this project. Was that not the cutest and funnest thing to make yet? Right, Trish? How are you, Trish? Oh, hi, Brenda. Yes, drinks well with others. I had to make it. I had to. I had to. I had to. And that means drinks well with others and I need to be out of quarantine. Well, I'm not quarantined, but you know what I mean. We're all staying home, staying safe. Yes, completely agree. But I miss people. But here is our finished shirt, you guys. Oh, I am so wearing this. I can't wait for Friday to come. Drinks well with others. With our little cherries and our lemon wedge. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing. Hold on. <laughs> drinks well with others. Yes, I do. I prefer to drink with others. All right, you guys. So that is it. I'm going to put this up for you. If you would like to be, why does it do that? Sorry, it makes me go all fuzzy. Um, if you'd like to be inside my VIP group, come at me down below and I will get you in there as long as you are not a chalk tour designer. Sorry, guys, it's against policy for us to have designers in our VIP groups. Come and join down below if you're interested in details about joining my awesome team um, and hearing all about the awesome April special, which 
I did not tell you guys, and I said I was going to. During the month of April, you have the ability to earn your kit cost back for free. That's right. You heard me. For free. Um, it's $99 in the U.S. to join. $129 in Canada to join. Um, and guys, this is our gorgeous business in a box. You don't want to miss out on hearing all about it because guess what? You see where it says bonus there? That's an additional $25 in product that you're going to get. So if you are interested in hearing about joining my team, comment, join down below. And last but not least, if you want to hear all about joining my Club Couture and you need all the details, comment Club down below. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed my project today. I thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Okay, guys. Bye.